Happy blessed day, blessed of beings, and welcome back to our channel, Ifilia. My name is Gabriel. And my name is Kylie. And in today's video, we're going to answer one of your questions. Yes, yeah, so today's question comes from Joanne, and she says, How do you live in the end and hold faithful to your new story when your partner, husband, wife doesn't believe in manifestation and insists on talking about bills and lack of money? If you don't participate in the conversation, it causes a fight. But participating in the conversation causes you to waver. Right. Okay, that's a good question. That's a good question. So, um, just a quick reminder that everything exists in the 4D, which is our mind, which is our imagination. So, there is a version of you, Joanne, and your husband that is now thriving. So, in other words, you guys are financially free, you're secure, you're happy, and you both actually find delight in um, discussing manifestation, the law of assumption, whatever the case may be. So, if you can imagine that version of you and your husband right now, it exists. So, all you need to do is just accept that you are that version right now and your husband. And then you have to remain faithful to this new version. And what will happen is you will see that you uh, will start changing and your husband as well. Now, your question is, you were like, because your assumption at the moment is your husband just want to talk about bills. He just want to do this and he doesn't want to, you know, talk about manifestation. So that that's your assumption because your assumption actually create. But when you change your assumption and say that, huh, I'm so happy and grateful now that we're financially free, we're thriving, and I just love that my husband just always wants to talk about manifestation, the law, and he's freaking a master manifester. It's just so awesome. Every day it just comes with these new wins. It's like, yo, you guess what I manifested today? Guess what I manifested today, right? When you remain faithful to that story, you and your husband will change which is absolutely beautiful so you don't have to worry about changing the 3d the 3d does not create the 3d is like a mirror right when you go to the mirror and you expect the mirror to show you a black hoodie it's not going to show you a black hoodie unless i change the hoodie and go back to the mirror and then it shows me a black hoodie yeah this is something that i know for us we've also i wouldn't say struggled with but it has come up for us where you know, I would be wavering and, ah, Gabriel, what about this and that? And he is the one who said, like, you just reassured me in those moments. Not causing a fight and not trying to say, no, no, we're not going to talk about it. He would just come to me and say, you know what? I hear you, but I also know that at the end of the day, we have our desires. It's okay. And sometimes it's just being that reassuring partner, just reminding them that, you know, in the end, everything works out for you. You always have more than enough. As well as at the same time, as Gabriel said, to, you know, imagine and assume that your partner is very open to it, that they no longer talk about the negatives and they no longer waver, but that they're fully on board with manifestation and you guys get to happily do it together. Mm -hmm. So there you are. If you have more questions, do let us know. And as always, keep smiling. Enjoy your blissful day. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, all the details in the description. Catch you later. <laughs>